Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Quite a bit of my channel. So for today's reaction, we're gonna be reacting to Justin Bieber reviews the truth about Selena Gomez in new song. But before we get started, you guys already know the drill. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button down below. It is free. Turn your notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Okay. But before we also start um, with the video I'll be reacting to, I want to mention that the whole Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez is so old. So I'm even like in shock that, you know, people are still, you know, bringing this up because even the years, the man is married now. Like, let's just see what's tea, okay? Because these men sometimes act like they are over the relationship when truthfully they are not. So we're going to find out what's going on. We're going to find out. What's that truth he's revealing in the new song, okay? All right, guys, let's get started. Is Justin Bieber singing about Selena again? Justin recently dropped his sixth studio album, Justice, and the fans are convinced one of the songs on the record references his ex-girlfriend, Selena Gomez. In the meantime, Justin's wife, Haley, responded to being constantly compared to Selena. A whole wife, like... Mm. And she also hinted that the Selenators were the... I just cannot, I just can't deal. Let's just keep going. ...reason she deleted her Twitter last year. So has Justin really written a song about Selena? And how does Haley feel about all this? Obviously, Justin and Selena haven't been an item for a long time. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's been almost exactly three years since one of the most iconic pop music couples broke up for the last time in March 2018. Just months after breaking up with Selena, Justin got engaged to Haley Baldwin, and the two got married on September 30th, 2019. But the fact that Justin is a married man, and that Jelena hasn't been a thing for years, hasn't stopped some fans from constantly bringing up Selena's name every time Justin is mentioned. But that's one thing about like the fans though. That's what they always do. They always mention the past, whole time you moved on. That's just what they do. There still seems to be a lot of Jelena shippers who, for some strange reason, believe that if they keep talking about Selena to Justin and comparing her to his wife Haley, he'll go back to Selena. Actually, it's really bizarre how these fans somehow manage to connect everything Justin says or does to Selena. Like last year, when Justin appeared in the music video for Drake and DJ Khaled's song, Popstar, and was shown lip-syncing to Selena's name, Jelena Stans went into a meltdown on social media, talking about how this just proves that Justin still wants Selena back. Some of Selena's fans, however, have accused Justin of being obsessed with Selena. After the music video... Obsessed? That's a big word, man. I keep telling you, that word... Mm. Obsession, that's, that's a big word. For pop star drop, one Selena fan commented that Justin has tested positive for obsession 19 as he can't. <laughs> obsession 19, oh man. <laughs> Woo, like these fans can, like, mm, mm, mm. they can go on you and make you want to literally just erase yourself, but. Yeah, don't do that though, but that's crazy because sometimes I understand like to be like on social media and stuff, you have to have thick skin, but sometimes it's hard, man. It's it's hard, like honestly, it's hard because like, especially when you're constantly attacked, it's like, what do I do? Like, leave me alone for a little bit, you know, but then again, it comes with the, you know, the, the, the fan base, it comes with the territory. People will love you, hate you, some people will just pick on you. Some people's mission is just to pick on you and just get on your nerves. So I'm sure like these celebrities are most likely used to this, but this is just too much. Can't seem to stop mentioning his ass. Another Twitter user added, I'm sorry, but for Justin Bieber to do a music video that mentions Selena Gomez while married to Haley Baldwin, the obsessed popped out. But the ones who are really obsessed are Jelena shippers who just can't stop talking about Justin's relationship with Selena and comparing Selena to Haley. One of these fans last year went so far as to try and rally other Jelena supporters to watch Haley's Instagram live and flood it with comments about how Selena is better than her. So we need to bombard that with Jelena and how Selena is better. Go after her, please. Let's all go after her. The disturbing post quickly caught Justin and Haley's attention, and they both called out the fan for spreading negativity. Justin called the girl who made the video a sad excuse of a human and said that he simply. <laughs> 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 
the side of excuse of a human. Wow. Please can't choose the high road when he sees that people are trying. I just I don't know who 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 is worse, the fans saying those negative things or him calling her this like, wow. Wow. Attack the person he loves the most in the world. Haley also addressed the video on her Instagram and opened up about the toxicity she has to deal with on social media on a daily basis. Haley reshared Justin's IG stories and explained that the comments from Jelena fans. Commercial time, and you can't skip this one. So I'm gonna let the game. I'm gonna let this um channel get their coins. Gotten to a level of anger and hate that is shockingly unhealthy and sad, and added that she would never in a million years wish for someone to be treated the way Jelena fans treat her. But the constant comparisons between Haley and Selena haven't stopped to this day, and Haley recently revealed that at one point she was forced to deactivate her Twitter account because she couldn't deal with the pressure of being compared to another woman. During a recent conversation with guest psychiatrist Dr. Jessica Clemens on her YouTube channel, Haley talked about the dark side of social media and its impact on mental health. Haley, what did I tell you? Like, you really need to have like thick skin to be on here, like on social media in general, because or else, like I said, it will make you want to erase yourself from this world, which is not worth it. I understand, but sometimes the things these fans would say to defend their, you know, the 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 the, the person they support or the star. It's just, it's just too much. I feel bad for her though, I do. Haley revealed that after marrying Justin, she's been struggling to deal with the amount of attention she started receiving on social media and said being compared to another woman was the hardest part. While Haley didn't mention any names, it seems pretty obvious that she's talking about being compared to Selena. The model revealed the incessant comparisons made her question her own sanity, and at one point she even started wondering if the fans were right. I think one of the biggest things I struggled with for sure was the comparison aspect of body comparison and looks comparisons and behavior comparisons. But she's pretty. She's real pretty. Like, these fans will make you doubt yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so sad. Like, I'm laughing, but it's just like, what the heck? Haley explained. I think when you're going through a situation where you just have so many people hounding you with the same Oops, thing sorry. over and over and over again, it starts to mess with your mind, and then you start to question. Is your agency's website builder trying to Another connection, crazy? but it's one I can skip. So. Yeah, do that. The website. Question everything. You're like, is there something that I'm not. So I think when you're going through a situation where you just have so many people hounding you with the same thing over and over and over again. It starts to mess with your mind, and then you start to question everything, which is true. You're like, is there something that I'm not seeing that they see? Maybe they're right. It got to, it got to such a low point to me that I was like, honestly, seeing that they see, maybe, maybe they're I'm right. Delusional. Wow. It got to such a low point to me that I was like, honestly, maybe I'm delusional. However, it seems like Haley doesn't have anything against Selena personally, nor does she blame her for what the Jelena fans are doing on social media. In fact, on March 9th, Haley quietly liked an Instagram post by Vogue magazine, which featured Selena's new cover. Obviously, this proves that Haley was telling the truth when she said she only wants to support other women in the industry. As for Selena, she seems to feel the same way about Haley and the importance of female solidarity. Following the incident with the fan who tried to bombard Haley's IG live with mean comments about how Selena is better, Selena took to Instagram to let everyone know she doesn't stand for women hating on other women. Mm -hmm. In her own Instagram live, posted shortly after Justin publicly defended Haley against the haters, Selena said she does not stand for women tearing women down. Selena also urged her fans not to be rude. That's really mature of her. I like that. And go off and say things they feel in the moment, regardless of what the situation is. So does this mean Jelena fans will finally accept the fact that these three people have moved on with their lives? I don't think so. I literally don't think so. Well, not quite. After Justin released his new album, Justice, on March 19th, the Jelena shippers immediately started dissecting the lyrics and looking for clues about Selena. It didn't take them too long to find what they were looking for, and they're now convinced the song Ghost is proof that Justin still misses Selena. 
The song features the lyrics, I miss your touch some nights when I'm hollow. I know you've crossed the bridge that I can't follow. Ghost continues with Justin saying he misses someone special more than his life and sings, Since the love that you left is all that I get, I want you to know that if I can't be close to you, I settle for the ghost of you. The fans immediately flooded social media to share their reactions to the lyrics, and a lot of them seem to be convinced Justin is talking about Selena. One Twitter user wrote, Not to be messy, but Ghost sounds like a feeling he feels now, and not one he's worried about feeling in the future. Miss Selena is in his head rent-free. Some social media users are also freaking out over the possibility that Justin's song Ghost is a reference to Selena's 2010 track, Ghost. Hey guys, and do you like TV girl. shows like Cindy to the Max or Bumped? How would you like to be on one? This one is one of the first of you. One fan posted snippets of both songs on TikTok and wrote, Ghost was Justin's goodbye to Selena. And even some fans who are not Jelena shippers think that Ghost is definitely about Justin's relationship with Selena. One of them wrote, Listen, I'm not a Jelena shipper, and I'm not even one to throw Selena into everything involving Justin, because at the end of the day, they're two separate people, living mm. two separate lives. But Ghost screams Selena, like screams her. However, not all fans think that Justin singing about Selena at this point is cute. One person tweeted, That guy is a nutcase, still pushing this while married. And then people wonder why she has so many songs about him saying she's done. Some fans have even suggested that it's the Selenators who want the song to be about Selena so bad. After Selenator, who uses the Twitter handle SelenaStan18, shaded Justin's new album Justice, another user replied, Imagine being so obsessed with Justin more than Selena. Might as well be a fan. According to these fans, the song Ghost is actually about losing a loved one to COVID and has nothing to do with Selena or her song Ghost of You. One Twitter user commented that Ghost is probably about Justin's family members who have passed away, or it's just for the grief of COVID victims, and added, I hate it when people still try to tangle them. I know I'm not the only one who's glad Jelena is completely over. Justin himself discussed the song's meaning in his recent interview with the British Vogue and confirmed that the COVID-19 pandemic inspired him to write a song about losing somebody you love. Justin said, I know this has been a really challenging year where we've lost loved ones and relationships too. The hook is saying, if I can't get close to you, I'll settle for the ghost of you. That works for this quarantine situation. We're not relating and connecting in the same way. It has allowed us to really have these memories. I hope this resonates and I hope it fills your heart up with joy or comfort in some sort of way. So is Justin telling the truth? One thing about these fans, whether he's telling the truth or not, they're going to believe whatever they want to believe. And what they want to believe is that um, the song was about Selena. So that's what they're going to believe. But I personally don't think it was. Even though some words may seem like, you know, it is, but I don't think so. A lot of fans are still unconvinced by Justin's explanation. And they think... What did I say? I think he's definitely throwing hints about missing Selena. But what about you? Do you think Justin is really singing about Selena after all these years? Yes, please comment down below. Do you think it's about her or do you think he's telling the truth? Comment down below. Or is this all just Jelena Shipper's wishful thinking? Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Yes, please guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below because I would like to know. I personally feel like even though some things that were mentioned sounded like it was to Selena, I don't think it was, you know. We are going through like a, you know, pandemic and um, a lot of people are like coming out with songs that are related to the situation we are living in right now. But overall, yeah, the relationship been done, it been over with, like, let's all move on. Let's all keep pushing for real because there's no point of trying to connect things that, you know, have already fallen apart. Like, the man is your whole husband now. The girl had moved on. Like, I think the Jelena fans just need to understand that it's dead and over with, you know? But then again, we don't know what, you know, the future holds. 10, 20 years from now, they can be back together. We don't know. But in the meantime, I think they should just, you know, let them be, you know, and support his marriage, you know? Yeah. Um. Yes, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know once again what you think in the comment section down below. Subscribe, please, okay? Subscribe. I have it up here, too. Subscribe. Okay?
please hit the subscribe button down below it helps me a whole lot do not forget to also comment any other type of video you would like to see next i'll make sure i record it for you guys and um don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok because i do post um polls on my instagram asking you guys what reaction video you guys would like to see next so definitely follow me on those and also check out my community page because i sometimes post asking you guys what i should post next as well okay all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on my next one bye guys